Hello everyone, welcome to Monkey Fish channel. In today's video, let's talk about fans. So, in the old Kung Fu movies, we can see a lot of times somebody using fan as a weapon. In the pop culture, we can see a lot of characters fighting with fans. But in my personal opinion, fan is not the best weapon but it might be a good self-defense tool. So, let's get started. So, before we go any further, you have to know that I'm not a Kung Fu master, I'm not a master of weapons, and I do not know anything about fans. But I have seen some forms, I read some books, and see some pictures and try to understand how this can be a weapon and i'm going to make my own version of war fan made of metal and i'm going to make some tests how this can cut or hit or whatever i have seen some pictures that some fans have a spikes that this is a knives but i'm going to make my own design of this fan and you're going to see this soon so let's go So this is my war fan. I know it's not the prettiest and I will not use more time for that because in my opinion this project will not survive the testing part. I'm not afraid about these blades, I am afraid about this fabric, probably will fall out sooner or later. So I don't want to use more time for that and when I'm going to test it I'm going to use some gloves because in this project too many things can go wrong. <laughs> For example, if I'm going to cut something, then my finger can go here between and this can squeeze my fingers or something like this. So I'm going to wear some gloves. And here, as you can see, two last ends have a blades, but they are not sharp. They look sharp. Of course, they are pointy, but they are not sharp here. I cannot cut myself, of course, for my safety. So, now it's time to go and test it and cut some stuff or smash some stuff with that and yeah, I'm going outside to have some fun with this fun. I'm going to use some gloves because in this project too many things can go wrong and my finger can go here between and this can squeeze my fingers or something like this. Squeeze my fingers or something like this. Many characters in the pop culture using fans for cuttings and I am not a big fan of that because see what's happened if you use fan for cutting. If you go this way, just closing. Go this way, just closing. If you go this way, just closing. This is why I'm not a big fan of uh, fun, how they use in the games or movies, because for me it's just not realistic. Okay, do you remember that I said I don't wanna use more time for this project? I use more time for this project. So this is my second version of my fan, as, I, as you can see, it's still alive, but I have a still watermelon to try and I don't really want to use this fan to do it because I'm afraid of my fingers, but I have a little bit different idea, so yeah. I 
I know you're going to tell me that it's not a fun, but isn't it? Looks like fun, works like fun, and actually is much better as a weapon than normal fun. So now it's time for sparring. I'm going to use this training fan, which is light and soft, and this cannot hurt anyone. And later I'm going to show you something with this normal real fan, which is made of wood. You see, this one is quite hard. You cannot bend it, not like this one. This is why I believe that this is really good self-defense tool, but about this later. Now it's sparring. Okay, so this was the sparring and I know that some of you might say that I didn't use a full potential of destruction, but in my opinion I did pretty well and I tried to use a fan as I could see in the forms and in the most of the forms the fan is closed or stabbing or hitting or blocking or do something like this and this thing is only sometimes. So this is why I use this mostly as a striking weapon and use the this move as a distraction and my friend who was sparring with me told me that this thing worked pretty well just with the sound and and because sometimes I was covering my intentions uh, behind the fan so he gets surprised what was happened but you know this is just a fan so he wasn't that afraid of it so he still could fight back and actually he broke my fan this is why he looks like he looks like <laughs> but now I'm going to talk a bit why, in my opinion, fun can be really good as self-defense tool. So, in my opinion, fun can be really good self-defense tool, and this is why. Not long ago I was in Japan and it was super freaking warm over there. And people still was using fans like this, or more modern version like this. And this actually was your best friend if you are in the summer in Japan and yeah so I can imagine that in the old times almost everyone have a fan with them probably if it was more rich then you have a more fancy one 
but probably everyone have some kind of fun with them. So this is why I was thinking that this can be really good self-defense tool because almost everyone have it. And this one is made of wood, it's pretty hard, can hit hard. Ow. Yeah, you can see it's already wet. <laughs> yeah, but these things can hit hard and you have it with you. Me and my friend, we tried to improvise some self-defense technique. We didn't study any of them, we didn't look for them, we just tried to use it somehow. And actually it works working pretty well. Okay, so this is it, I have nothing more to say and you can tell me how you would use the fan as a weapon or as a self-defense tool. Let me know in the comment section down below and this is it, thank you for watching, see you next time.